Hey guys, and welcome back to XCOM. When we last left off, we were taking some pretty rough losses, to be honest. But we had a nice little exchange of fire down here. And we did manage to melt and surprise a lobster man as he came in, which was nice. We do need to take a couple of turns here to rest our men, because they're starting to get exhausted. And it does actually take a good few turns to rest them up. Which does suck, but that's the way it is. How's everyone's energy now? Yeah, see, it's still only like half. Okay, John's okay. Right, let's hang back for another couple of turns. Jill, is that door missing? Yes. Well, I mean, it's not the best throw in the world. Right, Jill, you need to relax for a little bit longer. Ooh! That's okay. That is a stun gun. We can handle that. That's nice. Couple of good shots there. Iron Maiden, can you finish her off? I guess you can't. Alright, open that bloody... Ooh! That needs to die. That needs to die. That needs to die. Uh, shit. Okay, right. So, launch. Launch. About there, about there. Oh, this is going to be horrible. There. 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 Oh, no, you're right in the freaking way. Um, oh, and Jill can't move. Yeah, she's blocked it, so we cannot. Right. We have to rely now on reaction fire. Have to rely on reaction fire. Leon, how much do you need to fire? 40, so you can't. Iron Maiden, you can't get the reaction shot in. I think we're about to lose someone. Uh, we need more men down here. Seems you guys can't do anything. Let's get you moving forwards. Uh, Iceman, go stand there. Well, who can you? See? What can you see? You can see. You can't. You can't shoot that. Uh, right. Well. Let's end the turn and see what happens. I mean, yeah, Leon's down. Leon is down. Ah, oh, man. Right. Who? C right. You can see him, and you. Right. Yes. Uh, how did that thing survive that shot? Oh, come on, man. Stop missing. You can't miss. You literally cannot miss. Right. And you're telling me no one can see that lobster. Aquatoid has panicked. Lobster man has panicked. I'm guessing there's not many of them left. Oh. Okay. Jill. Nice. Okay. I mean... 
We're hurting them. We're really starting to hurt them now. But it's not good enough. We don't want to hurt them. We want to destroy them. Are you dead? No, she's not dead. She's just asleep. So if she's just asleep, stimulant. Uh, well, that was annoying. Right, you need to start linking up. Start getting everybody over here if we can. Because these torpedo guys are totally wasted back here. Aquatoids gone berserk. Right. Iron Maiden, Jill. Right, Jill. I need you to start making your way down here. Pick that up. And throw it. Throw it as far as you can. Hide there. Clear the lane. Lobster Man Squad Leader. Oh, this is so sketchy. I think we did the right thing, though, with taking all of these men. Like, if we took less soldiers with us, we would have had a lot more problems, I think. Because we probably would have just about run out by now. We really don't want to run out of men. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, sure. Come on, you fuckers. That's... Ooh. That's a stun bomb. We can handle the stun bomb. We can handle the stun bomb. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to wake him back up. Because we kind of are running out of stimulants now. Where is that soldier? Where's the one that went down? I think Faceless is on him, yeah. Faceless, use medkit. Stimulants. Come on. Ooh, just an unarmed aquatoid. Mate, you're about to get wasted. Jill, extreme prejudice. Fuck you. Uh, right. Stimulant. Oops. Stimulants. Use medkit. Pump as many. There it goes up. Feeling a bit better now, Mr. Iron Maiden. Ready to shred. Uh, actually, you can drop that again. Let's wait another turn. There's still movement down there. There's still a, uh, another aquatoid. Going berserk. Let them go berserk, that's fine. Grab your gear, boy. I don't care too much about the disruptor pulse rounds. Let's wait another turn. Let's see if he's going to come in. Come on. Come and introduce yourself. There's another door there. But that's the end then. The end of this segment, anyway. What did you have on you? Uh, so you had thermal shock as well. Let's keep moving everybody down. Little by little. Oh, nice. Melted him. Lobster man. So we can kind of see through that door, which is interesting. Well, we've 
made it around like half of the map. So what did you have? Okay. All right, you guys. I need you guys to start catching up. If you can. What does that guy have? Oof. Come on. Come through. Right, you can keep marching forwards. Who needs ammo? You need ammo. There we go. You also have lights, so I need to get you down there. What about you? Jimmy fails is good. Cameo, Cameo needs ammo. Okay. Right, until we get some more people with lights down there, we need to be a little bit careful. There's so much movement there. Anybody here have a light? Come on. Only one of you. We only need one with a light. But of course, none of you do. Godspeed. Ugh. That's foul. Right, you've got lights. What about you? Jimmy fails. Do you need ammo? You could do with a little bit. A little fill up on the way past. And cameo could probably use. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Right, good stuff. Cameo. Some who has the chemical flares? Barry. Barry, I want you to go all the way down here. And I want you to throw the chemical flare to one of these guys. You can't. Of course you can't. Soldier Aquatoid. Damn, come on. Really, Barry? That was not good. Where did that go? Where did that go, Barry? Oh, you idiots. Right. Okay. John, open the door. Ah. Alright. Not quite what I was expecting. Got like another little uh, airlock type thing. Okay. We can handle that. Everyone else can start moving forwards again. Slowly moving forwards. Who's left behind? That's it. That's all we have left. Out of what? 22 men. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 left out of 22 men. Okay. That's not great, is it? Barry, you got another chemical flare. Get through, throw it at the door. Come on, come through the door. Very quick turns, so there can't be many aliens left. Which is fine by me. I've got the bastards worrying now. Uh, open the door. Oof. Oof. Kind of expecting tentaculants or something to be crawling out of here. Glad there isn't. Come on, there we go. Come on. We know the fuckers are there. 
Oh, this is getting tense now, guys. Oh, hey. Jill, good shot. John, take it from here. Good shot, John. Iceman. Do it. Oof. Okay. Right, let's get some let's get some more cannons down here. Alright, Barry, you're gonna have to get out of the way, buddy. We need more sonic cannons. Desperately need more sonic cannons. We need more guys with sonic cannons down here before we actually start running out of men. I mean, we are technically starting to run out of men, but so are they, I think. That's why they're panicking. Okay. Don't want to go through that door just yet. We'll get some more, get some more soldiers through here first. There we go. I suppose we can send the rookies in. Now, there is a nasty surprise waiting for us. You can look that way. You can look that way. Okay. Through the door. Let's go. Everybody? Ready? Tense. Very tense. Sacked always just panicked. That's good. We like that. That's a happy sound. That we don't want to be looking into that room too closely. This might be the main chamber now. I think it is. Who has? Of course it would be you. Faceless. If you could hock that over there for me, please. There we go. Uh, oh, I don't know. We're not in there. We're not there yet. Believe it or not, we're not there yet. Ah, shit. Right. Right in here. Nothing. Good. Okay. Iron Maiden. Who had another flare? Jill Valentine. No, it's Barry. Where's Barry? No, Barry's out. Who has flares? I bet it's no one. That would be suckage. Oh, nobody has flares now. Alright, well, I'm just going to have to do this the hard way. I think every way is the hard way. Pick that flare up. Uh, and come down here. Uh, now you've blocked the door off. This is good. Wonderful. Just what we wanted. Oh boy. Alright, those guys are ready to go through. Let's get another gun there. Maybe you get ready there. Ooh. Okay, we can handle that. We can handle that. Charge. Ooh. 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 Um, okay. Iceman? Oh, n <sighs> Jill? Nice shot. Grab that. Pick it up if you can. Yes. Uh, Alright, everybody peel out. Barry, you can hang back because you've got the weapon for it. Let's get these dudes down here. 
One of these has a chemical flare. We're so close. We're so fucking close. So fucking close, guys. Um, nothing. Nothing. Ooh. Ooh. He's gone. Yep, there's literally no aliens left here. Now, I don't know if we can get a victory um, by killing all of the aliens. Pretty sure we actually can't get a victory that way. But that's okay. That is okay. We're not here to do it the easy way. We're here to win. And winning generally isn't easy. And if we're, when winning is easy, it's usually not very satisfying. We need it to be hard and grueling. Because that way, you feel like you've accomplished something. Okay. We are slowly pushing up. Do not like this one bit. Nothing. Right, so that's the end chamber there. So... think yeah we don't have much left to explore it's where that yellow skinned bastard shit his pants and dropped his gun that's fine cowardice is acceptable for these aliens won't do in my army Everybody fights, nobody quits. Otherwise, you'll, I'll shoot you myself. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Drop that. Pick up that, really. Uh, grab that. Iron Maiden. And continue lighting the way. There. Okay. Oh, this is not going to be nice, is it? This is going to be a bit fucking salty. Oof, I can taste the salt. Bit fucking nasty, this is. Horrible, horrible little, little place to come out. Oh. I wonder if we've killed them all. I doubt it because this is XCOM hmm it is possible but I don't think so come on still nothing Oh, this is horrible, isn't it? Look at this little maze of tunnels and passages. Oof. Okay. Iceman still there. Iron Maiden still holding on strong. Uh, John takes centre line. Jill. Go sit with John. Still nothing. They could be hanging back waiting for us. It's totally a possibility. God 
damn, this is sketch. So this is the main chamber with the, the dude in. But we've got this, guys. We've got this. We've totally got this. <laughs> it's just such fucking bullshit. It's just here to artificially slow you down. It's all this kind of uh, room setup is about. It's just slowing you down. Tedium. Basically. Right, uh, let's get these guys to rejoin. Wait a minute. Barry Burton. This is quite interesting to see who survived this far. Oh. Ada Wong's all the way back there. Uh, Ada, you might <laughs> you might want to start moving, because otherwise, well, let's get Ada to join back up. Damn, I don't know what she was doing back there. She just got lost. Maybe she was having a nap. Damn. Right, come on, Ada. Not enough energy. She's exhausted. She's literally just sprint. Oh, and Sonic's woken back up. Uh, cool, I guess. Uh, Sonic, you could be useful. By bringing a med kit. Uh... Yes, yeah, Sonic, you might be useful here, buddy. Med kit and some lights. Okay, it's going to take you about 100 years to actually get back, though, isn't it? Kind of want all of our guys to ass that we can get to assault the last fucking area. Oh, such a I, I thought that was strange that he's just there sleeping away. Uh, I guess what we could do, if we could get him to pick that up as well. He's going to run out of bloody energy, that's the only thing. Should be okay. It's getting dark though, it's got to be pretty scary here on your own. Look at his energy, it's so shit. Come on. You're just wasting everybody's time now, Sonic. You're supposed to be able to go fast. But you're not going fast. <sighs> Bloody useless, these rookies. There we go. Almost got his energy back. That would be quite hor uh, horrifying if he runs into an enemy that's just gone to sleep. But I guess maybe he can regain uh, a little bit of his credibility. I mean, I think the energy system's a bit crazy anyway. Like, you've got time units already. Did we really need to have the fact that our soldiers get exhausted as well? Thrown into the mix. And Sonic isn't a bad soldier, to be fair. There we go. Right. Okay. Now obviously these guys are a little bit useless back there. Because they can't blast open doors. Get your energy back. Alright, and rejoin these guys. Pose really pick that up as well. Right. Ugh, fuck's sake, man. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. 
Right, get in there. You're like, oh, guys, uh, I've just had me nap. I'm fine. What have I missed? Where is everybody? Everybody's dead, Sonic. Right, that's where someone's lost their bottle. And shit their pants. There we go. And, oh dear, nope. Everybody, get in. Come on, there we go. Right, okay. Start peeling everybody in. For the final assault. Might be a longer video. Ah, and you're blocking the door. Great. Now, I'm pretty sure there's some very nasty stuff in the final chamber. If memory serves. Sonic, you can actually go up there, buddy. Definitely want our hammer bros ready for this as well. Because I have a feeling we might need to toss some rockets through here. Which would be very bloody nice. Just like blast the place to pieces. A last fuck you from the humans. Oh boy. Uh, faceless? She goes. Ah. Oh. Did I actually expect there to be much through here? I don't know. It's just corridor after corridor after corridor. There we go. But it's a good thing, I guess, we did actually grab those uh, extra flares. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, fuck's sake. God damn it. <laughs> Getting impatient. But we're so close. We're so close. This LP has felt like it's gone on forever. I'm so close to the end. So close to the end now. Come on. Ah, right. This would have been a lot easier, a lot quicker, and a lot more... I wouldn't say interesting, because I've enjoyed doing it this way. Um, but it would have been a lot more fun, I think, if we'd had the molecular control and all that shit. Right. Jill Valentine. She's ready. So Jill Valentine's ready to breach. Iceman, you're ready to go in next. Rookie, actually we send the rookie in first. Sorry, Rook. But you know, all's fair in love and war. Not that there's a lot of love in this game. Mainly, uh, mainly, mainly war. And death and horrible disfigurements and horrendous weapons of unimaginable terror. Right. Oh, ah, there's the main chamber. So we're still not in the last chamber yet. Well, rookie, what do you see? No tentacoolants ready to suck your brains? Oh, there's a little bit of movement then. Nope. Okay. Second, guys. Alright, let's get the heroes through. And I really did think there might be some tentacoolants. Yeah, there's a little bit of movement in there now. Definitely going to be a longer, longer video, I think. I'm supposed to be streaming now. But I've got to finish this. Got to finish this. So close to the end now, guys. 
and uh, I'm actually really looking forward to it. This has been it's lots of fun. Kind of hyped myself up for the end quite a bit. All right, get in. Are we ready? Oh, there was some good movement then. Sonic. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, that's interesting. Is that all that's here? Out of the way, Sonic. Clear the way. Cameo. That's how that's done. Who else? Barry. Clear the way. Big man. Let one fly. See that sleeping Cthulhu looking motherfucker. One left. Here's me thinking there'd be like tentacoolants or something in here. Ooh, that's what I thought was in here. Get out of there, Sonic. Right, send another. Send another. Bon appetit, motherfucker. There we go, one left. Can't believe there's only one of those things in here. So on the hundredth turn, after all this time, it was Sonic, sleeping, who made it happen. Done and done. <laughs> that, that ending never made a lot of sense to me. So we played it on Veteran. Um, we made half a billion. Uh, we completed 81 missions. We failed four. 18 nighttime missions. Best mission rating was 2,400. Our worst mission rating was minus 362. We recruited 86 Aquanauts. We had 58 of them killed. We killed 777 aliens. Uh, we captured 163. We had five, ca um, five counts of friendly fire. We had an average accuracy of 60, 60%. Most effective weapon, Sonic Cannon. Deadliest Alien, Lobster Man. Longest months in service, eight. 856 days. We detected 166 enemy subs and detected three colonies. We lost one country. We did eight terror attacks. We built four bases. We owned 13 craft. We hired 380 engineers. And we researched all 115 things. It's a shame it doesn't tell you of the 163. Um, oh, where is it? Where, where, where did it say? Uh, flying subs detected. It's a shame it doesn't tell you how many of those you shot down. 
So victory was achieved on the 14th of January, 2041. But if you actually read the lore of XCOM, that battle uh, of Teleth actually ended really badly for the humans. The humans destroyed Teleth, but in doing so, it set off a huge chain reaction that uh, actually damaged and badly irradiated and polluted Earth. Um, not sure if all of our aquanauts got out of here and survived. Um, but Air Earth becomes a bit of a toxic wasteland. And that kind of carries over into the third game, XCOM Apocalypse. Um, where mankind has to survive by building these underground cities. Uh, um, these massive bubble cities, I should say. They're not underground. Uh, and in XCOM 3, or XCOM Apocalypse, you take charge of Mega City 1. Mega City 1, that's Judge Dredd. I think it's called Mega Primus. So instead of having an entire world to defend, you only have the city to defend. But you are against different aliens and different threats. And it has a different tone, and it was meant to be this huge, grandier scale game. Um, which didn't live up to its hype really and uh, sadly there's lots of development problems with the game and it didn't go as planned it is however a very different but very good game um i enjoy xcom apocalypse a lot and we will get to it they are trying to make an open xcom apocalypse like these because xcom apocalypse is not an easy game to play well no it is actually quite easy to play now with a few mods, uh, but it's not an easy game to record, is what I actually meant. Uh, so I will try to get to it at some point. Um, XCOM Apocalypse is possibly my favourite. No Aquatoids or, or any of that shit in it. Uh, the alien threat you face is, is a completely different race um, of beings, and it's kind of an, an interesting spin. But they also made... XCOM Interceptor. Um, XCOM Interceptor is a very interesting game. It's a little bit rubbish. Uh, it's all set in space and you are humanity. Obviously you're playing as humanity. And it's set just before XCOM Apocalypse. It's, um, humanity is taken to the, uh, to the stars to mine for minerals to, because Earth is basically screwed for the reasons I've just said and your XCOM again and you have to protect all the mining colonies and you do get attacked by aliens but we get attacked by uh, the aliens that we know and love these guys uh, it has a very campy comic kind of feeling to it and there's not many LPs of it on on YouTube it it's a very samey dull game um, it starts off really strong, really interesting, but the combat is rubbish uh, after a few rounds. But we will we will cover it because we will do all the XCOM games in time. Um, but that's the original two done, arguably the best two. Uh, they did the remakes uh, recently. They did uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown. When was that? 2012? Fucking hell. Was it that long ago? I guess so. That was one of my most anticipated games. Uh, I was so looking forward to that. And I've never been so bitterly disappointed with a game. Um, I could talk for hours about why that game massively disappointed me. Uh, I built a new PC to play it. I upgraded everything. Uh, I was so excited for that game. And when it actually came out, I never even bothered finishing it. Because I was just like, this this is not XCOM, really. I mean, it's got the same name and it's got roughly the same idea-ish. But it's not XCOM. Um, my opinion of it has changed in recent years. It's okay. I don't mind the game. It's got wonderful music. Um, and I have since back, uh, since gone and completed it a few times. Uh, I would say 
considering what gaming is today and what it is back then, it's probably the best we could have hoped for, I suppose. Um, I mean, the mechanics are humongously watered down. The, the combat is, well, the battles are humongously watered down. The interceptions and it, it's, you can't manufacture and, and become profitable like you could in these and the old ones. It's, yeah, it's, it's a game, I guess. And XCOM 2, I never really even bothered with that one. I saw a bit on it. I've, I've got it on the PS4. I've played about 20 minutes of it, maybe an hour of it, and thought, same thing, really. This this isn't really for me. This isn't XCOM. This is something else. Should have just been called something else, I think. But there we go. Anyway, guys, I've really enjoyed this game. It's been fun. It's been tough and it's been grueling, and the bugs have definitely chipped away. Uh, at some of the entertainment that I, I usually get from this because I love the molecular control and I was really looking forward to getting that out and playing with that but sadly it was not meant to be and the melee weapons are fun as well but again they didn't work either never mind anyway if you have made it this far and watched the entire LP apart from like two videos I believe that got corrupted um, then thank you very much I, I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have anyway Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.